Hey guys, I am Vaisal Patan. I am not a team leader in C sub community MVP. And in today's video, we will going to learn how to perform crude operation with a code first approach in MVC application. So basically, we all know database is very important of any application, and sometimes it's too complex to manage databases. So to overcome this issue, Microsoft come up with the entity framework which reduce complexity for developers to create application without having much more idea of database right. So basically there are three approaches in Microsoft. So first is code first approach, second one is model model first approach and third is database first approach. So here we will start with code first approach with ASP.NET framework. So without any delay, let's start. Just go to file, new, project, visual c sharp, ASP.NET application and whatever is your path and here is your application name so here you can see sharp code first okay and just click on ok button and we see and we see okay so just it will take some time to create project okay that's it it's done so basically in code first approach we need to create first model class and based on that model our database and table will be created so first let me pin this in model class let's add one class namely whatever whatever you want to set table name for you as per requirement for example here i will use article Okay, and just add here some properties, for example, integer ID of string name. Okay, and if you are not in entity framework, is not installed in your application. So, for installing the framework, just go to Nugget Package Manager and click on Manage Nugget Package for Solution. Click on Browse type entity framework okay, entity framework okay this one and just install that stable version just click on install accept this okay as you can it's finished and it's installed successfully just close this window and here just let me and pin extra okay so basically for Code first approach. This annotation is very required key. Its work is auto incremented. Just includes namespace using system dot component model dot data annotation. Click on this. Okay, it has save this file. Now just add connection string for our database. So here I am using this connection string. Okay, let me paste here. Okay, just names so connection okay what can it is your database name so, so it, it, it will be my database name just copy this thing okay now just another another add another class and name is CSA db context will connect our application with database just click on ok just extend from db context add namespace using system to direct identity and that's it ok just remove extra namespace back and duplicate it so it will format our code now just create one constructor ok and just extend from base now just copy our connection string key name c sub connection and pass in a base as a parameter ok that's it now we need to map our table name here for example prop it's the same as entity framework if so for first let me clear one thing if you are going to use database for the approach so you need to create data model right 
so you will add uh, entity framework and uh, entity framework will create this same thing what is the as we doing a code for the approach so this thing we need to do manually just write down db set our table name articles and same thing data so let me say this is the name space of get done so just make sure whatever you set name here it will create table with this name and okay this is done now just package manager console if you are unable to see this window just go to tools nugget package manager and click on package manager console so it will open this window okay now just here first we need to enable migration for our application this is a first one time process enable migrations so enable migration and press enter so it will check that that our database uh, connections in are correct or not if it's correct it will add a migration folder in our solution as you can see it's already added okay it's added the second one we created this model right article so we need to create a table in our XML as we can see just refresh the database folder so right now no database right just click on just write down add migration and your migration name just make sure your migration name suits similar to whatever it whatever you've done in the migration so it easily identify later create article table and press enter let's wait to run that article okay let's create a migration as you can see create table articles by default entity will add this sports fix just create id and name okay up and down method always migration will generate these two method up and down just again go to the game the console and now write try update database press enter Let's first to create and execute this migration to all database. Okay, it is done. Apply X with migration done and then insert method done. Okay. I'll just go to S solution X uh, sorry SQL X SQL server and refresh databases. Look, it's our database created and table is also there, I think. Oh uh, yes, here. Yeah. ID and name, right? It's already there, so we no, no need to create table and all the primary key, not only about one limited key. So it in code for example, it all will be done automatically. So now we will create a code operation for these two things. You can add an, as many as many as property is possible. Just go to controller. So for time saving, we will use scaffolding for cooperation for this add controller click on controller click on mvc5 controller which we are using in the framework look this all thing is optional you can use either mvc controller empty or mvc controller with retract action it's empty body or you can you can use mvc controller with views using entity framework i am for i'm just doing using scaffolding for this time saving you can write your own code just select your model class article models select your context file turn your views okay and just click on add ok 
the JD alert index method, details method, create and all these things. Now just run our application to check if it's working or not. Let's switch to browser to load this application. Until it's running, we add a query for that. So let's start from whatever link articles. So we're gonna have files empty right now. Let's wait. Maybe my laptop is a little bit slow. Okay, it's done. What is our controller name? Articles. Just copy okay look let's create new article name first article click on create okay it's added now just executing as good space look it's added right first article now let's edit this First article, data, save. Now let's run this query. It's updated, right? It's, so it's finished working. Now just details, name, port for subject to list. Now just delete this, use your yes, execute. So, so, guys, it is very easy, not that much difficult. This is for just beginner. It is find our solution explorer view. Just let me give short summary what we have done today. So first we will add first we will add a connection string web config file, then create these two models, CTV context, our context class, and then our model which we want to create in database as a table. Then this both thing is is created from the command this can be using scaffolding for code operation hope you guys understand this concept you can leave feedback comment question for this article below please let me know how i how you like understand this article and how could i improve it thank you have a good day guys